air, right? You're moving through it. You mm -hmm. have to you have to shift it somehow. Mm -hmm. like shift that it, has shift to it. shift the wall shift somehow. It, shift it. Hey everybody, welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. Today we're going to be continuing this little subsection we got about mudras. And so what's what's kind of the next step? What else what else do we need to yeah. know about them? Yeah, guys, so mudras, we're going to we're going to talk about hand mudras for a while because those are again the bulk of what you hear about. So, if you think about it, it does make sense on some level that a hand mudra would have some sort of effect on you and on everything around you because you're holding the position with your hand, your body is doing something and that is obviously naturally reflected in your mind as well because it has to start from your mind has to be reflected in your body has to then come back to your mind with kind of new information about it so but there are other reasons for why hands are really kind of the target of a lot of mudras and that's because hands are where we interact with a lot of the world as we kind of think about in lots of ways we grab doorknobs you know we uh, pick up the glass we uh, clap our hands for example like that's a gesture that we do for people uh, you know, other things I'm thinking of. We, like, flip people off. Let's give them the bird. Why not? <laughs> like, that's a hand gesture that's a little bit different. Uh, so, on some level, it does hand mudras, which seem to, kind of people that don't practice yoga very often, something that's a little bit iffy and a little bit not really going to do anything. It does make a very, a very noticeable change. And if you, in your practice, would like to include hand mudras, Noticing that that change is going to happen and that <clears throat> it's not something you're going to see immediately necessarily. There are some hand mudras where they say you can use them as like emergency type situations, but uh, not something you're going to notice necessarily right away. Um, and also something that, you know, if you, you can practice anywhere discreetly, like just walking around with your hands, it's really easy. So if you do believe in it, it's not hard to like just keep in the shadows the woo woo side. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not hard to incorporate into your into your practice and yeah. and really make it make it a part. And this is gonna be it's gonna be kind of a, a building process, like I was saying. This isn't necessarily something that you're gonna notice day one or day five or or maybe yeah. even, you know, two weeks down weeks the road. You, yeah. But you as long as you're you're staying on top of it, you might notice a difference. And again, this is this is it's yoga. Something so it's really easy to practice yeah. just anywhere. So. And so it's something that might work for you. It's something that might never work for you. And it's it's up to you whether you whether you wind up needing that. We'll talk more about how to practice mudras and give you a couple we'll get of to a couple tomorrow. Give you or, a couple yeah, yeah over the next, next couple day. of days. So, <laughs> yeah, give somebody a high five. There's another gesture. We'll see you guys tomorrow.